Okay, I'm going to show you the basics of C-Motion. Okay. I see the swing is only two moves, now 400. And they're two motions. They're not even moves, they're blended. And the hands are what I discovered from a Lee Como video of 28 seconds. Um, he was doing this. And just falling up and going around like this. He kind of showed the motion. He showed it this angle. He showed it this angle. And when I tried it, I went, oh my God. I said, my elbow kind of goes on this angle towards my front heel line. I dropping this down like this, but my body moves with it. And I said, boy, that feels like a lot of my other motions in baseball and throwing. And it's the same motion. And it just clicked. Everything clicked for me. It was an epiphany. So it can't be that simple. I said, you know, I'm athletic. I can't get golf to where I want it to go. And why? And I went, oh my God, it can't be that simple. So try an experiment for me now. Stand up. Okay, get relaxed, a little bit of a knee bend, and be careful with this. Um, you'll be surprised at, at what happens. If you fold your arm up to your shoulder, you're just right here, okay? And a quarter turn is going to be your swing. This is all your back swing is. It's to your shoulder, and then this, okay? Now, if I take that hand and I do that motion I just showed you, and I go really hard down, and it's the, the elbow's going to go towards that heel line that I've talked about up here at this front left heel line. And I'm going to come down really hard and fast. All right? And you just want a little bit of weight on your left heel. You kind of set into your left heel with just a little tip of your the tailbone sets into your hip and your butt is pointing towards that front line. Now all you do, okay, you bring that elbow down and your hand will feel like it's coming down hard behind your right foot. And do it very hard and watch what happens. You come through really, really fast. You can bring this down as hard as you like. But it feels like you're snapping your hand back here. And your elbow and your spine go together towards that front heel. And boom. And I've got all the weight set into my left hip here. And the spine knows you can't hurt it. And you can go as fast as you like the tremendous speed and you take a club and you do the same thing you can go really hard and fast as you want and literally if I do that move the second part of it is your spine all right I do a couple things, but Lee Como does this. He sets into his hip, his spine sits here. It's just a little move to the left, all right? If you come up here and do that same move, you're going to turn. There's your back foot. And you're going to come down hard. And this hand will feel like it's coming down hard behind your right foot. And I've already jammed my weight into the outside of my left heel, okay? Lee sits on his heels, okay? So you're back like this, and now I do it. It almost knocks you over. If I just go on my heel alone and do it, I'm gonna watch this so I don't fall down. So all I did was go onto only my heel and watch the force. Okay? So what I do, 
I, with my irons tipped exactly that way, I come up like that, I do exactly that motion, my elbow points to that left heel line, and I come down, I feel like I'm coming behind my right foot with my hand, well no, I'm in motion, so that's not what happens, and I straighten out my arm, so I do this, alright, but in my driver, what I do is I rock the tailbone. Now think about it. If I rock the tailbone, which doesn't look like that because I'm rocking this way and I turn, the quarter turn, but what I'm really doing is this, but the turn makes it look like this. And then all I do is rock it exactly back to the same point Lee is. He's eliminated that part. He sits here. I kind of rock with my driver back into that slot. We end up the same place. The other thing I do is I unweight. I don't sit back on my heel. I'm more in the middle of the foot on this foot. I'm definitely in the heel on this one, on the outer part of my heel. And what I do is, I rock with the driver, I slide this way a little bit, and then I snap, okay? And I'll do it quickly now. And what it does is the force of the arm, the body reacting to it, pulls this hip through. So I'm doing this. And all it feels like is I'm, my hand snapping down towards my back of my right foot. That's all I'm doing. So try it. Get the feel. Be careful. It's where the speed is coming from. Set that spine correctly and just try it. Don't hurt yourself. Just try it. But try some force. And watch how your body reacts because it'll really react to it and you can't get hurt because your spine is set correctly you're not fighting your spine alignments uh, the speed limits come off and it, it, you can go as strong as you like do I go that hard? no but what I've done is once you get all the distance you gain a lot you figure out well hey I want to play this game and you do it a little bit easier, you know. Do it a little bit easier. Add both hands. And it's the same motion. The speed in the tremendous, you know, the balance is tremendous. And just this little tiny hand motion. And then coming down towards your foot is what triggered it for me. Do it even slow, you'll feel what I mean. Everything goes to here. And it becomes very easy to react after, react to the, the motion, the hands. It's the driver. Only two things in the swing. And you go, oh no, there's 400. You gotta have the grip again. Well, yeah, all of that's part of it. If I broke that down, those motions, hundreds of motions within that bad small thing, but it's one motion. This is one motion. It's how we've learned to ride a bike. Your parents told you pedal and they probably did this with their, their arms. Pedal. You kind of pick it up. I'm telling you. Pedal. Pedal. Learn on your own and imprint that. Your own thoughts and feels. And hopefully, you'll get an epiphany like I did. 28 seconds. This was a lot longer. But this is how I teach people in person. And it's easier to get feedback from them and to have them do that exercise. Now, hold hard with your last three fingers. That protects this elbow, the tendons and things. You want to... Be careful about it. Don't hurt yourself. Don't fall down. Um, 
I think you'll get the idea. It's kind of, uh, it was eye-opening for me, and I'm hoping it's eye-opening for you. Give me feedback on it. I want the feedback. It leads to the speed and the power. It's what it is. That alignment saves your spine so anything, your body and speed limits comes off. And then your hand motion is the driver. They call it C for a reason. The C is this. I'm trying to see. My fingertips keep going. But because I'm in motion, it's not really a C, is it? C from here to here. Coming at my foot and in motion, so it's more like this. Or this. Try it. Tell me what you think. Bye.